punches like this? Or anybody who punches like, yeah! You gotta give everything to your punch. You don't give us up.
start the job? Yes, again. Again. That's the second time. Yes. Four. Four. Punch your head. Winner. Are you back? Yeah.
move down, guys. Move down a little bit, Sean. Thank you. Guys, quiet, please. Legs out in front. And 
can reach, and if you can reach, and this is easy, pull up. Because this is still not 100% straight. If you pull up, always get it straight.
Other leg now. Back in the middle. midline of the body, the center line of the nose, the navel, all the way down. This is where all the techniques have to come to the center. Okay, both arms out. Good. Are you ready? Each. Knee. Some. Chi. Go. Each. Look. Try to be faster than the guy next to you. Each. Thumb, she, go. Let the breath go first. Let the breath go before the technique. Each, knee, thumb. When you punch, try to chase the breath. The breath goes. Try to chase the breath. Each, knee, thumb. No muscle. Less is more here. The less effort, the faster and more powerful you will be. Bruce Lee. Each. Less effort. Knee. More breath. Each. Knee. Tell them. Chi. Left their out. Ready. Each. Knee. Tell them. Chi. Go. So think your hip take. Pull this hip take back as much as you can. How far do you pull this back? Until the body starts to physically move, you don't want to do that. But you want to pull this hickete back and load this lat up, okay? You want to push this arm out as much as you possibly can. And then you release. What releases? The breath releases the technique. But you need to have this torque. Both sides of the body are doing something totally different. This side is pushing, this side is pulling back. Ready? Itch. And then you just unle unleash the center. Knee. Salve. Chi. Go. Rook. Zich. Hach. Ku. Ju. Good. I keep it Hach. Yes. Yes, quickly. So, 
Keep it up. Your big toe, push the big toe into the ground. Little toe, poke that little toe. Make sure the heel's on the ground. Good, big toe and little toe connection. Hook, ready. I itch, breathe, knee. Everybody count. Itch, knee, knee. knee. Louder. Tongue, chin, chin. Go, go. Look, look. Sit, sit. Ach, ach. Cool, cool. Jiu, jiu. Itch, itch, knee, knee. Tongue, chin, chin. Go, go. Look, look. Sit, sit. Ach, ach. Cool, cool. Jiu, jiu. Good. Keep back. 
Für G minus, G minus. Hey, you're gonna fight. Yeah! Hey! Hey! Hey, he's stepping forward. He just always a key punch. Ready, each. Knee. Solid. Sheath. Go. Yeah! Hey! Hey, he's stepping back. Jora Nagayuki. Ready, each. Knee. Solid. Sheath. Go! Okay, I go here. Go here. Remember, think strong you take. Strong you take. Strong you take. Ready, step forward. I saw do you feet. Saw do you feet. Ready, each. Knee. Be big here, okay? Don't be small. You, the, the lead hand always protects the center. We want to make sure that we're we're loading up here. Load, 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 boom, and drive. Both your arms are like a You have to think of both your arms. Now we have the luxury of moving in so we can there's times to be like this, and there's other times that you have to fight off a half guard and quarter guards. Both your arms, you've got a feel, are doing this. You guys got it? Okay. So both your arms feel like they're feel like they're pulling a rubber band here. That's potential. And then you want to let that go. So, yeah. So you have a feeling of back and then release forward or like forward and then let go. Is there a difference? So or? you want you want to basically pull this thing back to where the body is not augmented. Okay, where the body is not messed up. You don't want to do this, watch. Do you see where I, I pull my body? You want your body centered here. Your technique should be maximum to the point where your chin or your you're not rotating around. Okay, so don't, don't have a sensation of being inside. Mentally, everything is coming together to the center. But physically, you want to wind this up here. And you want to wind this up as much as the body will let you. You guys understand that? That's the bow and arrow effect. Do you want to go here with the bow? Or do you want to go here with the bow? Here. Okay, you guys understand that? Yes. Especially in kata. And if you want to destroy somebody, you ever have to use this in, in, a, in, a, in a street fight? Okay, you want to make sure that inside the body here, you're already torqued and you're ready to fire. Okay, this is inside the body. You don't see it, but internally, I, I can't go anymore. And then I'm, this is my kumite. Got it? Okay. Good. Hi, you step forward. I sold you. Ready? Each! Knee! I won't take a turn. Okay. Strong Moate. Strong Kiai when we turn. Everybody, right leg out. Ready? Each! Good. So your, your technique is right here. There's no potential in your block. You understand what I mean? You're, you're going like this right here. There's no potential. I want, I want you to bring this all the way back. Boom. Ready. Each. Feel that? You need that in contact. Without that in contact, judge the home location. Just torque, like you're pulling an elastic band. Here, last second, boom! 
Snap this. Ready? Control the center. In a fight. 
okay, it, uh, on the screen. Make sure you control the center. Always control the center. When I punch, punch here, I never, if you ever see that and you're a trained black belt, you should be able to destroy your opponent. Boom. You see it all the time. You see a professional boxer. You see a professional boxer do this. Always firing and shooting from the center line. Oops. That's important. I freaked out. Like, God! Remember, fire this knee. Your knee should almost be at your shoulder before you kick. Knee to shoulder. Knee to shoulder, kick. Knee to shoulder, kick. This kick is designed, come on. This kick is designed, boom, to go right up underneath the chin. Here, boom. Here, boom. Got it? Right up underneath the chin. Somebody's got a guard up, right up underneath. Ready? In my count. Each. He. Tom. G. Go, get out. Get out. Each. Knee. Tom. G. I'm on tape. I'm on tape. Okay, so, couple things. You gotta figure out with the front kick. There's different coils. There's four coils that you need to maintain throughout the kick for it to be an effective kick. One coil is with this knee, your heel should almost touch your glute back here. Watch. Does everybody see this? Watch slow motion. Everybody see that? Now watch. See that? That's your first coil, is right here. Your heel to your glute. That's the first coil. You gotta do that, you gotta do that quick. The second is your knee, this coil at the hip. This is important, okay? The higher you kick, you got to be able to coil this. If your knee doesn't coil, wherever your knee goes, that's where the kick's go. If the kick goes here, that's as high as you're going to go. So you have to get this kick, you have to get this coil, this knee, coil up. The third coil is in the ankle. Your ankle has got to be coiled, okay? And the fourth coil is the toes. Your toes have got to be coiled. Does everybody understand that? Nice. So those four coils, and you want potential in your kick, that's, that's critical. A lot of the young, younger belts, they basically just leave a lot of potential out of their kick because you're not coiling. Got it? So, come on. Ready? Hi. Each. You should get more snap now when you do those coils right. Knee. Try to go for underneath the chin. Underneath the chin. Ready? Each. Knee. Top. Chin.
across the uh, pavement. <laughs> So make sure when you do a technique, don't leave anything back. Don't snap back on the technique. You guys understand? So back to it. Let's go. Destroy your opponent. You have to think about destroying your opponent without destroying your opponent.
Why do you see a lot of combinations, a lot of you share O's or no I? Because they're good. Number two, they were stalking each other. And when you're in that spot where it's kind of it's really intense, you're going to go back to old faithful, old faithful. Most people only have one or two combinations. And they all use them. The, the professionals are the same way. All right? So that's why you've got to sharpen your tools and get combinations. You've got to practice them like a million times to actually use them. If not, it's good old-fashioned reverse function. Because I mean maybe reverse function. Good. I bow.
Keep going, keep going.
shouldn't hit you, but why did you get hit? All right, a lot of times your guard is down too low. Keep your guard up and make sure your feet, whenever you see that technique coming, get off the center line. All right, if you have a tendency of staying in the center. All right, get off the center line, fishtail, just a little bit. Get off that center line and protect the center. Okay, always protect the center. Always have those hands up in the center. Got it? Good job. Yeah. 